What is packed in Turkey's Altay MBT? Presidency of Defense Industries, or SSB Chairman Ismail Demir, announced Sunday that the engine for Turkey's much-awaited indigenously built domestic main battle tank, Altay, has landed from South Korea. And what is packed in Turkey's Altay MBT? Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks, from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced MBTs of the present. So stay with us till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. So, let's jump right in! The Republic of Turkey's Altay is a third generation plus main battle tank. The Mili tank Euratom Projesi Altay program was used to build it. The Altay is the Turkish Land Forces Command's first national MBT. In 2005, the Turkish National Main Battle Tank Project was launched. Altay's conceptual design phase was finished by September 2010. By 2015, the first prototype had been completed. Otokar submitted their final offer for serial manufacture of the Altay main battle tanks to the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries in August 2016. Turkey plans to build 250 Maichup Altay MBTs initially, followed by 1,000 additional tanks in four distinct lots of 250. Altay is a tank with the most cutting edge characteristics. The driver, gunner, loader, and commander make up the Turkish MBT crew of four. The SSM began the national tank project in order to develop Turkish defense technical capabilities and increase local contributions to national defense. In August 2010, a 3D image of Altay was released to the public. The tank is named after the Army General Feyçeren Altay, who led the Turkish War of Independence's V Cavalry Corps. The Altay tank's development will be finished in three stages. In March 2007, the Defense Industrial Executive Committee, Turkey's Defense Industrial Procurement Decision-Making Authority, picked Otokar following a competitive process. The $500 million contract covers Altay's design, development, and integration, as well as the tank's qualification through prototyping and testing. The Altay project was started in August 2008 at the Otokar facility and finished in 2016. For testing, Otokar created four prototypes. Altay makes use of technologies developed by Hyundai Rotom for the K2 MBT in South Korea. By early 2017, the prototypes have been successfully tested. The concept and IP rights belong to Turkey. In August 2010, a 3D depiction of Altay is released to the public. The layout of the tank is standard. The power pack is in the back, with the driver's seat in front and a fighting chamber in the middle. The commander is seated on the right side of the turret, while the loader is seated on the left. The gunner is seated on the very same side as the commander, but slightly further forward and lower. Altay has the K2 Black Panther MBT sturdier chassis, as well as a redesigned Turkish turret and more armor than the K2. It also has a longer hull and seven tracked wheels. The tank is equipped with a Volcon 3 modular fire control system, also known as the National Cannon Fire Control System for Naval Platforms. Asselson created the Command, Control, and Information Systems in collaboration with STM, SSM software subsidiary. At the Odokar factory, work on the Altay project began in August 2008. Altay is armed with a smooth bore 120mm L55 cannon. A muzzle reference system, a thermal sleeve, and a fume extractor are all included. With blowout panels on the roof, the ammo is housed in the turret bustle. A 7.62mm machine gun is positioned coaxially to the right of the main weaponry on the tank. For commander operation, a 12.7mm heavy machine gun is installed to the right of the turret. The tank's front side is protected by modular reactive composite armor. Chemical, biological, and radiological assaults are not a problem for the tank. Both the shooter and the commander have stabilized day thermal sights with a hunter-killer laser rangefinder. MTU Friedrich Schaefen 1500 horsepower diesel engines will power the first two batches of Altay tanks. A rink transmission will be used to drive the engine. In the tank's final two batches, an indigenous 1,800 horsepower engine will be used. The tank has a top speed of 70 kilometers an hour and can maneuver at water depths of 4.1 meters. The builder for the Altay MBT development program is Cox Group subsidiary Otokar. Hyundai Rotom provides technology systems, transfer licensing, as well as technical support and aid in tank development. The subsystems and fire control system are the responsibility of Asselson. 
The main gun system is manufactured by the state-owned munitions manufacturer Meikin v. Kimya Industrisi Kuryumu, while the armor package is developed and manufactured by Roketsan. In collaboration with Otokar, the subcontractors are responsible for integrating the necessary equipment into the tank. The Alte AHT is a developmental version of the weapon designed for urban fighting. It was originally made public in 2017. It has explosive reactive armor. The turret of this tank is shaped like a sloping wedge. Cage armor covers the reel of the hull and turret. A front-mounted dozer blade is also included in the tank. Alte T1 is a production variation that looks like pre-production prototypes. The Turkish Army was to receive 40 Alte T1 tanks. These will arrive in 2021. Alte T2 offers greater situational awareness and increased protection. The T2 could just be another name for the Alte HT, and 210 T2 tanks are expected to be manufactured for the Turkish Army. Immediately after the Atle T1, deliveries are planned to commence. Unmanned turret and bustle mounted autoloader on the Alte T3 technological demonstrator. In 2024, only one prototype will be manufactured for qualifying. It will be utilized for technical evaluation and trials. Recovery Truck with Armor is a future Alte version that has been planned. Turkey intends to purchase 60 of these rescue vehicles, which will be built on the Alte T1 hull. Variants for Mine Removal is a future version that is planned. Turkey intends to purchase 50 of these military vehicles. However, it is unclear whether the tank will be a new design based on the Alte hull or simply an Alte tank with mine clearing attachments. The Leopard 2A4 is equipped with an Alte turret. BMC exhibited a modified Leopard 2A4 tank chassis with an integrated Alte turret in 2021. Due to a lack of engine and transmission systems, Turkey will have serious difficulty producing Alte by 2021. Due to political concerns, German manufacturers refuse to assist. Turkey has about 300 ex-German Leopard 2A4 tanks in its fleet. A variety of improvement plans have been proposed to increase these tanks' capabilities. The engine's power systems are presently being tested. We are expecting to see the prototype of the tank with this engine in May, he told a group of reporters on the sidelines of the Antalya Diplomacy Forum. The project, according to Demir, has no regressions. According to prior reports, Turkish land vehicle maker BMC, which is working on the Alte project, has signed an engine and transmission arrangement with two South Korean businesses, Doosan Infracore Company and ST Dynamics Company. Turkey started the MBT project in 2007, but getting an engine proved difficult for a while since some European companies declined to supply the driving unit. The Alte prototype of the next generation battle tank was fueled by a 1500 horsepower diesel engine from MTU Friedrich Schaffen GmbH in Germany and German Rhein Metall had formed a joint venture with BMC to produce armored vehicles, primarily the Alte main battle tank. However, following Berlin's decision to prohibit military exports to Turkey, a longtime NATO ally, the manufacture and supply of the tank engine came to a halt. The German arms embargo was prompted by the recent flare-ups in Syria, which have put Ankara's military supplies under close scrutiny by its Western friends. Germany has stated repeatedly that it will limit military sales to Turkey, which recently conducted a counter-terrorism campaign in northern Syria that targets both Daesh militants and the PKK terrorist group and its Syrian counterpart, the YPG. Ankara has long chastised German authorities for failing to take serious action against the PKK, a terrorist organization designated by Turkey, the United States, and the European Union that has waged a 40-year terror campaign against Turkey, killing nearly 40,000 people, which include women and children. Nevertheless, Turkish defense authorities have stated multiple times that the foreign purchased engine will only be utilized on the initial mass-produced tanks, with later manufacturers of Alte tanks to be powered by domestically built engines. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you, and we'll catch up in the next video.